<laughs> Essentially what it is, guys, here's the gist, okay? What was recently unearthed on Twitter was an old prototype from the Wii's development days. Um, and it got just, like suddenly popped up on an auction thing. So the, the GameCube that it's tied to as well, there's a video about this on Tony's channel, speaking of Tony. I'm gonna take, it's hard to talk with that on actually. Um, <gasps> Where did Bob go? He's, he's <laughs> making burgers. Um, there's a, this, this teal blue GameCube mm -hmm. that is paired with this is like a development GameCube unit as well. There's a great video where Tony actually has one of those GameCubes in that color. So that's not a retail GameCube. That's why, oh, we, that's this is, that's why we called Tony when it's we found that cool website. Like, it really is. I, I love it. I wish they did, right? I love it. I want that. <laughs> I love that color. Um, and then basically it's an early prototype Wii remote that has a GameCube controller port. Mm -hmm. So it's not wireless. Like it plugs into the GameCube. It's got this like huge long coiled up cord mm -hmm. um, and a really much bulkier than the final release uh, for the sensor bar. Nunchuck looks pretty well the same, except the cable's different. It has an Ethernet port cable. Uh, so probably they just were taking like what they could find to make it work. Yeah. But it seems like a very old, uh, like the buttons are different on it a little bit. Um, the one and two button are actually a lowercase a and b. So you've got uppercase A and B and then lowercase A and B. So I'm really glad that they that they changed that for the final release. Because if someone's like press A, you're like, okay, which one? <laughs> um, so yeah, that's um, and then it's like captioned. It looks Nintendo like the, Revolution. the normal NES controller colors, where yeah. it's like gray and black. Mm -hmm. Minus the minus the red button. Minus yeah. the red buttons. Yeah. yeah. But um, you just have what? What? <laughs> okay. In that I case, I just have things around. <laughs> good. Very good. Otherwise, like, there's no power button, but I guess the GameCube controller didn't have that either. So yeah. there's no power button. Um, and then the yeah, the, no uh, it does button. have the home button though. That's the thing. But it seems like it was just a very like early test development unit. And, and the um, the auction does have it labeled as Revolution, which was the Wii's like code name when it's working and uh, when oh. it was in development so it's like the the gamecube was the dolphin uh the wii was the revolution because they were revolutionizing gaming um uh, mm -hmm. etc nx as we know <laughs> the, i think the wii was cafe this is weird yeah yeah project shop, cafe, <laughs> project cafe. it yeah. leaked like See, two days cafe from majority <laughs> oh no <laughs> no I, I did too when it first released but i remember it was like two days before e3 or like whenever they announced it and someone posted online it's like hey nintendo's doing like they uh whatever published a thing um what's it called when you try to get the patents yeah they patented a thing with like a controller that had a screen on it for a console and the console looked exactly like the wii u and it was only two days before they officially announced it and i was like there's no way they're doing something this stupid and then they did it, and yes. I was like, oh, okay, well, jeez. Oh, yes. <laughs> I guess they did something they are. stupid. <laughs> Just kidding. Oops. But, but yeah. yeah, so it looks really cool. Like, it, definitely not useful. <laughs> um, but, I mean, so it rude. looks like a really cool collector's piece. I have a feeling it's going to end up in Tony's hands at one point. <laughs> Just at some point soon. Someone um, flew him... It was or, metal, super, super metal, G, metal <laughs> Jesus Rocks. Metal Jesus Rocks. Yeah, flew Tony out. And like paid for his hotel and everything. Oh, for so the that he could six four DD. Yeah, so that he could right? test wow. a development disc. Yeah, uh, Nintendo sixty four. Because he was like, "Hey, I got this thing. Mm -hmm. I have no idea what to do with it. So, this thing that I bought for like a few hundred dollars, I'm gonna spend a few thousand dollars to fly you out so you can check that's this passion. thing that was only Holy a few hundred. Hell. Yeah, that's crazy. Because Tony had the hardware Dang. for it. But yeah. I mean, that's the thing is like on his channel, like people will like just, you know, like. FedEx stuff to him, yeah, mm -hmm. so that he can like take a look at it, see if it's authentic and, and real. One day, and everything. he's and gonna get one with Ura Zelda. One day, you think so? <laughs> he got the the Super one Mario sixty four disc drive version. Yeah. Yeah. Did he? There's, There's there not was, much you can do with it, but yeah. he got it. There, there was only like one yeah. copy that was ever made, and they used it uh, at like Space World just to yeah. show off what the sixty four disc drive was. And somehow right. Tony has a copy. <laughs> And it's like, how did you? That's crazy. How did you do that? Like, whenever you start it up, instead of having Mario's face where you can like poke at him, it just says Super Mario 64 disc version, and then it has different songs. 
Or not different but songs, but... He's very diligent because there was one person that sent him like a beta Wind Waker, and oh, yeah. he totally figured it out that it was fake. Yeah, it was just oh, like a, really? a ROM hack. Yeah, it was, it was a fake. He's legit with his work. He, he's very <laughs> thorough. He's Tony, a... if you're watching. Tony, we love you. <laughs> so... And he talked so sweet <laughs> about got... Ilya. He's got he's like, she has the sweetest voice. He was she, like, it's because oh, he longs like, to be young again. He was like saying stuff about like he was like, she, it's just such an underrated channel. It's in the growing stages, and it really needs to grow. And I'm just like, you need to go on and have and then, a beer like, with him. And like within ten minutes, I had subscribers, and I was like, Ilya, you need to go on the podcast and have a beer. Oh, wow. jeez, Tony needs to go check out my channel. Apparently, <laughs> <laughs> I stream on Twitch. All right, all right, Daniel. Or, yeah, Daniel, tell us about this. Uh, I mean, it's really cool. Okay, so the, the article is really just um, screenshots of the tweets that are in Japanese. I cannot yeah. read them. Uh, but, Wait, you can't um, read those? <laughs> but I, what I am going to do is post a link in the live it chat says, here. It says, this is what I Nintendo. wanted to do. I got the remote control and nunchuck for Revolution because I use the terminal of the GameCube controller. I attach it to the GameCube, but I can't use it. How? What? How do you know that's what it says? Because he it, it's reads written. in Japanese. <laughs> it's written there. <laughs> And Jap and not in English. <laughs> you mean you can't speak Japanese, Dan? <laughs> You're from Canada. You should know how to. Canadian. I know how to speak Canadian. <laughs> no, like, like if you go to the tweet, oh, you can sure. click translate tweet. We're gonna go down tweet. to the Tims and have a brewski with the pint bros, and then we're gonna go and live back on the Chesterfield. <laughs> and oh, what do you know? They're gonna have some poutine for lunch. <laughs> yeah, 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 okay, Housers. And then no. you just apologize. There was like, just every uh, Canadian like, stereotype. The I second could... one yeah. says. <laughs> I tried to check it because I was anxious. The display of the text did not change when it was an initial type and a late type. Uh, the third one, the final picture says, uh, connected the revolution sensor bar to the GameCube memory card slot. Maybe this is just like getting the power from the slot. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's what it's because the, they didn't have a port on the GameCube to actually plug the sensor bar into, so they probably just made it work Yeah, with however they could at this, the time, right? This development console is probably what they used to, like, because Twilight Princess, you know, like, this is probably what they used oh, to program yeah. all of the motion controls for it. Probably, actually. Yeah. I mean, like, because essentially, like, it, it's just... A Wii is like a super chart, like an overclocked mm -hmm. GameCube. It's, just, it's, it's literally really a, a GameCube at like a higher clock speed. Yeah, it's not very superior. It has widescreen. <laughs> yeah, it's like <laughs> I think it's like that's why I got Twilight Princess on the Wii, the GameCube. Yeah, I, I think it's like two to three times more powerful than the the GameCube, and that's it. Which isn't nothing. It's it's enough to make things widescreen that weren't widescreen before. <laughs> yeah, right. Daniel. What were you saying? You had what? I interrupted you. I'm sorry. It's what? Ilya's what fault. I... Are you okay, Ilya? What was I? What was I saying? <laughs> <laughs> be right back. I drank a ton of water, so I'll be right. Back. <clears throat> Are you okay? Break. <laughs> RPG in the chat just asked, "Did Maya beat up that girl?" <laughs> <laughs> Maya did beat up that girl. Dang right. Yeah. yeah. So I think I this think is RPG. really cool, right? <laughs> it is so cool. Like, I can't wait until Daniel, or not Daniel, uh, Tony breaks it apart and, like, spills beer all over it. No, he, he doesn't does not He doesn't do that. He just beer. He just... He drinks responsibly. <laughs> he does. <laughs> Everyone ta uh, comments on his things, like, why are you drinking beer? And he's like, because I'm an adult. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. I drink one beer. The guy can't beer. have one drink? Yeah. Over the course of like three hours that he's filming. Yeah, he yeah, spends I, like I, three to six hours filming a video and he just has like the one, maybe two beer the entire time. And people are like, you drank that really fast. And I was like, yeah, you watch like a two minute video. <laughs> it's like, it's, it's, I was it's called, it first. it's called editing. <laughs> <laughs> I felt bad because yeah. like I, uh, I never really drink unless it's like special occasions. But I, I wanted like if I could go back, I would have had a beer when I was on the podcast. That way I would have fit in. Oh yeah. When I was on his podcast. If I ever end up ago. on that on Tony's but podcast. But he wants you guys on there. Right? Yeah, I didn't know until it was already going. 
No, but he's like, he I'm said... going on the Hardcore Games podcast. And then, like, halfway through it, he messages me. He's like, 20 wants to on the podcast. I'm like, I am doing other things right now. No, no, he, he <laughs> said it after, right. after the podcast. He was like, yeah, it'd be really cool if we could get Ilya or Daniel or anyone else on. And he's like, if you know anyone, please let us know because they don't really know. I'm... I'm, flat, I'm so flattered that he would request me because I'm like the I'm like sitting here and I'm like the fan of his channel. So <laughs> like, why is H M K mad? Like, ah. Why is H M K mad? He's know. always mad. He, can, he's, he has two states: <laughs> mad and hyped. <laughs> There's no middle ground. Yeah, that, that's what it, it's, it's hyped, mad, and killer. So he has those three stages. Damn. He's never I'm gotten... sure that the third one is just like <laughs> the next step from the second one. <laughs> he's like he's never actually killed anyone that we know of. He's gonna see the uh, he's gonna see the Netflix Zelda animated series and then he's maybe gonna that's turn why he's mad. Killer. He's gonna he's gonna maybe, go from hyped maybe. and then he's gonna see it. He's gonna be mad. <laughs> then he's maybe. Oh yeah. no, man, man, oh man. We 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 seen H M K, but he was like in line. And I didn't want to wait in line. He was so. he was too busy. Yeah. We were just rushing to get to the Nintendo but section. There was a bunch of cool people like Cliff or what what's his YouTube? Nintendo The Game no, Informer? Yeah, the, the game yeah, the game informer is his thing. Or so, on, like, on the Switch TGN Former. Yeah, he, he came up to us and like sat down with us in like in the middle of nowhere and started eating with us. <laughs> like, he's, a, he's a cool, cool dude. We were just sitting on so the floor cool eating. So cool that we brought him back to our Airbnb and he <laughs> schooled me at Mario Kart. Yeah. Hey. No, he he came back, uh, or he found us he while said, we were just like said, sitting I there. Much, I played too much Mario Kart. I'm sorry. <laughs> and he went out to I love you. It's he went okay. out to dinner with us when we, we went to Korean barbecue with uh, Hylian CC. Yeah. No, it was it was a it was a cool time. I wasn't but, there. No. <laughs> Are you coming next year? I would love to. I would I'm already to. getting E3 emails. <laughs> really? Yeah, they're, they're like, like they're like, don't forget, you're coming back. You know, you're coming back next year. E3, you can't buy your tickets yet, but don't forget about it. <laughs> no, so I'm, I'm gonna try to like do everything as soon as possible this year because last time I waited Ooh. until like a month before and the ticket price in my head, I was like, oh, it's only gonna be this much. And then it was literally twice as much when I went to buy it. And I was like, no. Oh, for your like airline tickets? Yeah, I made it home. Oh, yeah. Are we talking with, about E3? Yeah, I made it home. I went from LA on an airplane back to my house with $6 in my pocket. Yeah. Sounds like my entire RPG. year of college. Yeah, RPG in the chat says that Conrad is, from Commonwealth Realm is really cool, and we met him while we were there. Yeah, they invited us and to. And he their is Airbnb. really cool. <laughs> oh, so and we were talking about Metroid, and he he yelled at Joey Ferris across the room. He said, "This guy, this guy right here, I like him." <laughs> Who? I'm like yes. Who? I won Conrad's approval. <laughs> talking Who? about Metroid. Uh. Conrad, he yelled at Joey. We were talking about Samus's shoulders. I know it's a really weird thing. <laughs> but... What? Is it because they're massive? I don't know, Max yes. So I guess yeah. I we're talking about okay. The basically Samus's suit design. Oh, I mentioned to Conrad. Giant. Yeah. yeah, I met. I met, mentioned to Conrad that I felt for Smash Ultimate they should have been updated to instead of the Metroid Other M design to the Metroid Samus Returns design. And apparently that made conrad and joey start yelling at each other they do that a lot apparently but <laughs> but apparently uh, conrad and i were on the same page about that and so i basically won his approval uh for through just that one sentence that no, i said i, I, I <laughs> have you. i have something to show it's and then we can move moment. on to the next thing it's a great moment for me tubes is in there what? too so that's us oh, when yeah. they invited us to their airbnb if it'll... Oh, yeah, I've seen that picture. That was a great... That was a great time. It won't... It's blurry. I'm so short. That's a hand. Um, <laughs> You're oh, short. No, Daniel, it's not blurry. Daniel, how tall are you? 5'10". 4'2". No, 4'2". 5'2". 5'1". 4'2". 5'2 and a half. Oh, no. <laughs> Ilya, I feel you. I, I feel you. Their oh. apartment looked well, like the it, perfect Cece, bachelor like, place. Under five feet? Yeah, she's like yeah. five four ten. She's a very small person. She's like an entire foot shorter <clears> than. <throat> so, 
if we were ever able to go to E3, you would be the tall one. Cece and I just need to stay together and be like, <laughs> "Hi, <laughs> hello." Yeah. So that I picture. Mean, if, you need to assign. If you're a short all together, person, every tall person. Because like whenever <laughs> I get lost in crowds, I always grab the tallest person in my group by their shirt and just follow them. Oh jeez. Because I get lost. We'll, so, we'll call Rick back. I'll, I'll wear oh, my scarf, Rick, my friend, and then you can hold on to my scarf. <laughs> there you no, go. No, don't don't wear anything hot while you're there. Like just. It's California. Why would you wear something hot? Like, no, I, I mean, had to like, buy shorts specifically for that trip. Like, but like I'm from Florida. <clears throat> I don't have to worry about that. Okay, well I'm Canadian. So. Well, Arizona, <laughs> I actually feel better there because there's no cold. humidity. Think about this. It's so you're, cold. You're, you're literally sorry. You're literally standing in line with a thousand other people. Mm-hmm. It's hot. Like Sounds it took like, like Disney World, except no humidity. It, well, there's no Inside. there's no air either. Like we we took us like two hours to play Smash Brothers, and then like it was a three hour wait to get into the line to play Pokemon. And the line would have been like See, three hours. See, you're not making E3 sound appealing to me. No, no it is. But, but it's all of that with friends. Yeah, I was just gonna say that. <laughs> so, way easier waiting in line. I would rather just. No, so Hang you can with you, guys you can bring a cheaper airline. You can bring your switch. Else. You can bring hey. your switch or 3ds so that you can like play stuff while you're in line. So like next E3, we'll all be able to play like Super Mario Party with each other while we're oh, in line to play the you other can things. All play Smash. Yeah, oh, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of because then everyone will know. Instead of waiting in oh, line God, to play remember? Smash Brothers, what I'm would we be waiting in line Smash. for next year? And uh, I was like. And hopefully it comes out before E3 next year. That would be the true. Dream. True. It yeah. Should be, I wish it would. I would hope it would be summer. I say it's the next Zelda Order game, or the the Mario DLC for Super Mario Odyssey, because that's our next new story, guys. What do you know? Great segue. Yay. <laughs> okay. So. And then you actually use like a segue, like the thing that you like. like you just you yeah. ride on it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So, did any of you watch the video that I posted yesterday or the day before? Yes. Yes. About the the possible yeah. DLC for Breath of the Wild? Yes. It's in my watch later. Alright, so <laughs> it went from like a 1% chance to, like in the video, I joke around, I said it to you and Daniel in the Discord group, but like, it went from a 1% mm -hmm. chance to like a 10% chance that it might happen. Okay, so the one that I read was from Go Nintendo, but this one's gonna be from IGN because I can't find the Go Nintendo one. I love Go Nintendo though; they they helped me out a lot when I first started their channel. Oh, hold on, we're on a super chat. Twenty twenty. Oh. Oh. Uh, read it, Mister D Man. Roman, I don't know how to pronounce your last name, Roman. Donate to twenty dollars. Says Happy Spooktober. Thank you. Just want to say I'm Harry I love Moncton. Harry Lonker. Yeah, that's, <laughs> I'm, I'm Harry Lonker. I'm beat just up want to say, I love, love the it. podcast. I don't have a question, by the way. Just wanted to show my appreciation. Oh, thank you, Sean. Thank you. Thank you. We though. love you, Roman. Platonically. Yeah. Join the join the <laughs> Discord and we'll we'll give you hugs. Join the Discord and That's then when you hugs. do have a question, <laughs> you can give it to us for the mailbag. Give it to us and say, "Remember that time?" I paid for fifty <laughs> questions. I paid, I paid for I paid for so many questions. <laughs> Daniel raising an eyebrow with a mustache is an odd combination. <laughs> I love it. Right. Honestly, it's the best. Ilya, would you like to take Ilya. this one or? Maya, would you like to take this one? Yeah, Which one? Like, I, I don't know where we are. Okay. Well, I'm this one takes the place of the Bethesda one. Or, I don't know, like the other, I don't know. It's just, it's really important, I feel. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So what you do, Maya, is you're just like, Hello, everyone. I'm Maya. On this thing we're going to be talking about nintendo's president wants more dlc for existing big titles this comes from ign joe scrabbles a made-up name says for those wishing the four yeah and then you go joe scrabbles is a made-up name by the way it's okay. a it's a fake name they use whenever they have would you like my cousin <laughs> your cousin's fake what 
Yo, you call my cousin fake? Well, I don't want to. What are you talking about? <laughs> wow. Southern alien came out to play. <laughs> How dare you? Southern alien. You? He always calls me out whenever my southern comes out. <laughs> <laughs> what did you also, do with uh, in the chat? Karl Marx for Smash. Count me in. <laughs> Karl Marx, what? Thank you, Joseph Stalin in the chat. Oh, Neptune. Oh God. Karl Marx for Smash. I'm in. So, would you like for me to read the whole article, or just some of the article? Um, a little bit of the article? It's taking like 9 billion years to load for me. Oh, really? Uh, just the yeah. first three paragraphs, right? Alright, I got you. Alright, cool. So, do you want me to do your whole, like, Hi there, my name is my name is Maya, this is Game Over Jesse's uh, channel, we're gonna... If, if, <laughs> we're gonna do you, you don't have to say this is Jesse, you just have to say this is, this is Maya, this is the news, here we go. Alright. Hey everyone, it's me again, Elia Rose. I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching this video. And you know what? If you're a fan of videos like this, you should totally subscribe and give this video a like and comment below to let us know what type of videos you would like to see us create in the future. And if you would really like to support all of us here at the Game Over Jesse channel, please consider purchasing a Game Over Jesse t-shirt or becoming a Patreon at patreon.com slash gameoverjesse where you can receive many rewards such as getting shoutouts, having any topic or theory that you select discussed on the podcast or made into its own video, having your question answered, joining on as a guest on the podcast, and playing with us during our Twitch live streams at twitch.tv slash gameoverjesse and much, much more.